I'm better, I'm better, I'm better. He say I'm hot, I'm so free eco. Pull up on him in my vehicle. He said, I'm pretty, I'm pretty. You must be from Brazil and must be from Mexico. Woo! Roll up on him in my Latin bro. Jump hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Michelle Miko Dean. So today's video is all about this gorgeous eyeshadow look featuring the Jaclyn Hill Morphe collection. Now this is my very first time ever using a Morphe palette, period. And what really drew me to this palette is just all the beautiful colors. But I'm gonna tell you, the colors that really drew me were these colors right down here at the bottom. So this blue, this purple, and all these greens and teals, because I really wanted a bold eye look and you can't get any bolder than that, okay? So that's what drew me to this palette. So if you want to see how I created this look, then keep watching. So I'm going to start by prepping my face and putting on my foundation. And I'm going to speed through that because the main feature of this video is, of course, the Jaclyn Hill palette and the eyeshadow look that we're going to create. I've already moisturized with my Murad Oil Control Mattifier, and now I am priming my face with the Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio. And that's so my makeup can last all day. I'm applying some Neutrogena Healthy Skin Eye Cream to keep my eye area hydrated underneath my concealer, and I'm using the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. I'm using my Holy Grail Foundation, my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I love this. It's a matte finish, it, it's a buildable coverage, and it controls oil, and it stays in place all day. I'm evening out the skin tone on my eyelids with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toast. After I blend it with a beauty blender, I sweep a little bit of translucent setting powder over the eyelids for a smoother eyeshadow application. I did let my concealer settle on my face for about two minutes before blending it out, and I do this to have better coverage with the concealer. I'm using my favorite contour powder ever, the Sasha Powder Blush in Matte Brown. I'm gonna set my concealer with the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. I'm setting the rest of my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Press Powder in the color 360. Now guys, I know y'all are wondering what the heck am I doing? I was watching an Ann Milk makeup tutorial and she was using the Shape Tape to apply her eyeshadow and I love how crisp her lines were. Now I didn't have any of that so I had to revert to Scotch Tape. Yes, let's make it happen. To start our eye look, we're going to apply the color Obsessed to the inner corner, and it's a really light, shimmery, gold color, very subtle. I thought it was perfect for this look. And the brush that I'm using is the Morphe Pencil Crease Brush. And I'm going to build that color to my liking. For the transition color, I'm going to use the color Roxanne. It's like a burnt orange, but it's not too light, it's not too dark, and it's a perfect transition color to use on dark skin. And I'm going to sweep that pretty much all over the lid, but I start in the crease and then I sweep up just to transfer some of the color up towards the eyebrow and then down towards the lid again for a nice smooth transition when we start to apply our other colors in this look. And I'm using the Morphe Crease Fluff Brush. Next, I'm going to apply the color Pool Party to the lid, and it's a really pretty tealish green, and this is a shimmer color. I'm trying to do my best to tell you what the color is like, and also if it's a matte or shimmer, just in case you want to recreate this look and you don't have the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm using the Morphe Oval Shadow Brush to apply all the colors to the lid. Next, we're going to apply the color Jada, and this is the second color in our ombre look. And it is a deeper teal, so it's the same shade as the shimmer we just applied, but it's a deeper teal color, and it is a matte finish. 
Now we getting ready to twerk, y'all. Not for real, that's the name of this color. <laughs> and this is a really pretty, um, like electric cobalt blue. And I'm just gonna apply that to the outer corner of the eye. And this completes the final color and our ombre look. And I'm really packing the color on because I want the color to be bold and vivid. And I apply a little bit and then I'll go back, apply some more powder to the brush and apply more until I'm satisfied with the intensity of the color. Now I'm going to apply the color Diva to my crease and Diva is a hunter green. It is uh, more in the medium shade and it is a shimmer shadow. I'm applying the color to the crease area first. So I want the most intensity to be in the crease. And so I'm applying the color there first and then dragging the brush and blending upwards and then blending down into the crease. So there's a smooth transition between this diva color and then all the colors on our lid. To smoke out the eye, I'm going to apply the color Enchanted to the very outer corner and just kind of move it up a little bit until I'm satisfied with the smokiness of this look. Now Enchanted is definitely a hunter green. It's a deep, dark green, perfect for smoking out this look, and this is a matte finish. Now I want this look to be really bold, and so I'm going to keep building up the coverage by adding more powder to the brush and applying it in the outer corner and then dragging it up until I'm satisfied with the look. There's only one. I'm gonna go back and reapply some of the transition color that we applied initially, just to make sure there's a smooth transition. And I'm going to go back with Obsess, which is the initial color that we applied to the inner corner and apply that to the tear duct. And I am using the pencil crease brush to apply this color. And this look is so bold and so beautiful, it just would not be complete without a winged liner. Now y'all, this is my first time ever doing a wing liner. I watched a couple tutorials to see how to do it and I am just praying that this comes out right. You know, it applies very evenly on my hand and it's not applying um, as much of the color on my eyelid. And of course you have to be very careful and use a steady hand. So that's what I am doing. We're gonna pray this comes out right. Not bad if I have to say so myself, but some of the liner did seep through my tape. So I'm cleaning that up with some micelle water and a Q-tip. So to complete the look, I'm gonna add some color to my lower lash line. And so I'm gonna apply the color twerk, which is the color we applied to the outer corner and just drag that down the bottom. And then in the inner corner, I am going to apply um, the color pool party, which is our very first green color that we apply. And I think this really ties all the colors together and really ties this look together. And I'm just gonna contour my nose. I'm using the Sasha powder blush that I used earlier to contour. And I love highlighting my nose with the shimmer color in the NYX contour palette. So I'm just gonna apply that with my fingers and then I'm gonna blend everything in with a foundation brush. All that you're getting is all that you see. I'm good. Nothing else ever made my sense to me. I'm not doing it. I'm for blush, I'm using the MAC Powder Blush in Swiss Chocolate. So this is one of my favorite highlighters when I don't want to go for a bold. So this is the uh, MAC Iridescent Pressed Powder and it's in the color Just in Sky and it's a really pretty purple, it's a shimmery purple and I thought it was perfect for this bold colorful look. And this is the color that I go for anytime I don't want to use a regular gold highlight. And for the final step in this look, I am going to use the Maybelline Python Metallic Lip Kit. 
in the color Venomous. This is uh, one of the products I picked up in my Ulta haul, and I love this color. It is a deep blue, and the highlight color is a shimmery, greenish kind of a silver color. And um, I'm just gonna tap that. You have to be very careful with this because this can get intense really, really quickly. So be careful with this highlight. I'm warning you now. He say I'm hot, I'm so fleek. Pull up on him in my vehicle. He said, I'm pretty, I'm pretty. You must be from Brazil and must be from Mexico. Roll up on him in my Latin, bro. Jump out like squirrel, yeah, bro. You need a chick like me to make you want to leave them other broads you know now. So you guys, this is the finished look and I'm so happy with how everything turned out. This is my very first time doing a bold, colorful, I call it my peacock look. So this is my very first time doing a really bold eyeshadow tutorial. And um, my, the reason why is because I've really been having a problem with my eyeshadows showing up as pigmented on camera as they do in person. So I wanted to get a palette that was highly pigmented, number one, but then one that had a lot of bold colors so I can create some really creative and fun and festive eyeshadow looks. I basically went on an Ulta haul. So I went in Ulta just to pick up the Morphe 350 palette, and um, they had this one here, the Jaclyn Hill palette, and then they also had the Morphe 3502 palette, and I decided to go with this one over the 350 because of the color palette. Now, I love the range of colors here. So this is basically a neutral palette, and it goes everywhere from like your taupes to your rose golds to your earth, earth tone colors. So I love the, you know, the brick reds, the oranges, and some of these are matte and some of them are uh, a metallic or a shimmer color. And I love that there's two dark shades. There's your black and then your chocolate, chocolate brown. So I'm excited to do a look featuring this palette as well. So definitely stay tuned to my channel. This look will be coming soon, I promise you. And then I also picked up two of the Maybelline Python lip kits. These are metallic lip kits, and so I got the Venomous and I got the Piercing. Venomous is the shade that I went with in today's video. It's a really dark blue color with a silvery, greenish kind of a powder highlight. And Venomous is a dark, dark, deep chocolate brown with more of a silver powdery highlight. And I got this one to use with my neutral palette. So this one I think will be perfect to pair with the Morphe 3502 palette. And this one paired perfectly with the Jaclyn Hill palette and the teal, green, blue, purple look that I went with today. Thank you so much for joining me for this video tutorial. I had a blast creating this look. I'm super duper excited about creating more looks for my YouTube channel so definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you are notified anytime I do a video upload. Head on over to that playlist, do one of my workout videos and until the next time, peace and blessings, I'm out.